In physics, the Mach Zender interferometer is a device used to determine the relative phase shift variations between two collimated beams derived by splitting light from a single source. The interferometer has been used, among other things, to measure phase shifts between the two beams caused by a sample or a change in length of one of the paths. The apparatus is named after the physicists Ludwig Mach, the son of Ernst Mach and Ludwig Zender. Zender's proposal in an 1891 article was refined by Mach in an 1892 article. Topic: <laughs> Introduction. The Mach Zender interferometer is a highly configurable instrument. In contrast to the well-known Michelson interferometer, each of the well-separated light paths is traversed only once. If it is decided to produce fringes in white light, then, since white light has a limited coherence length, on the order of micrometers, great care must be taken to simultaneously equalize the optical paths over all wavelengths, or no fringes will be visible. As seen in Fig. 1, a compensating cell made of the same type of glass as the test cell so as to have equal optical dispersion would be placed in the path of the reference beam to match the test cell. Note also the precise orientation of the beam splitters. The reflecting surfaces of the beam splitters would be oriented so that the test and reference beams pass through an equal amount of glass. In this orientation, the test and reference beams each experience two front surface reflections, resulting in the same number of phase inversions. The result is that light traveling an equal optical path length in the test and reference beams produces a white light fringe of constructive interference. Collimated sources result in a nonlocalized fringe pattern. Localized fringes result when an extended source is used. In Fig. 2, we see that the fringes can be adjusted so that they are localized in any desired plane. In most cases, the fringes would be adjusted to lie in the same plane as the test object, so that fringes and test object can be photographed together. The Mach Zender interferometer's relatively large and freely accessible working space, and its flexibility in locating the fringes has made it the interferometer of choice for visualizing flow in wind tunnels and for flow visualization studies in general. It is frequently used in the fields of aerodynamics, plasma physics, and heat transfer to measure pressure, density, and temperature changes in gases. Mach Zender interferometers are used in electro optic modulators, electronic devices used in various fiber optic communication applications. Mach Zender modulators are incorporated in monolithic integrated circuits and offer well behaved, high bandwidth electro optic amplitude and phase responses over a multiple gigahertz frequency range. Mach Zender interferometers are also used to study one of the most counterintuitive predictions of quantum mechanics, the phenomenon known as quantum entanglement, the possibility to easily control the features of the light in the reference channel without disturbing the light in the object channel popularized the Mach Zender configuration in holographic interferometry. In particular, optical heterodyne detection with an off-axis, frequency-shifted reference beam ensures good experimental conditions for shot noise limited holography with video rate cameras, vibrometry, and laser Doppler imaging of blood flow. How it works Setup. A collimated beam is split by a half-silvered mirror. The two resulting beams, the sample beam and the reference beam, are each reflected by a mirror. The two beams then pass a second half-silvered mirror and enter two detectors. Topic: <laughs> Properties. The Fresnel equations for reflection and transmission of a wave at a dielectric imply that there is a phase change for a reflection, when a wave propagating in a lower refractive index medium reflects from a higher refractive index medium, but not in the opposite case. A 180 degrees phase shift occurs upon reflection from the front of a mirror, since the medium behind the mirror glass, has a higher refractive index than the medium the light is traveling in air. No phase shift accompanies a rear surface reflection, since the medium behind the mirror air has a lower refractive index than the medium the light is traveling in glass. The speed of light is lower in media with an index of refraction greater than that of a vacuum, which is 1. Specifically, its speed is, V equals C, N, where C is the speed of light in vacuum, and N is the index of refraction. 
This causes a phase shift increase proportional to n minus 1 times length traveled. If k is the constant phase shift incurred by passing through a glass plate on which a mirror resides, a total of 2k phase shift occurs when reflecting from the rear of a mirror. This is because light traveling toward the rear of a mirror will enter the glass plate, incurring k phase shift, and then reflect from the mirror with no additional phase shift, since only air is now behind the mirror, and travel again back through the glass plate, incurring an additional k phase shift. The rule about phase shifts applies to beam splitters constructed with a dielectric coating and must be modified if a metallic coating is used or when different polarizations are taken into account. Also, in real interferometers, the thicknesses of the beam splitters may differ, and the path lengths are not necessarily equal. Regardless, in the absence of absorption, conservation of energy guarantees that the two paths must differ by a half wavelength phase shift. Also note that beam splitters that are not 50-50 are frequently employed to improve the interferometer's performance in certain types of measurement. Topic: <laughs> Observing the effect of a sample. In Fig. 3, in the absence of a sample, both the sample beam SB and the reference beam RB will arrive in phase at detector 1, yielding constructive interference. Both SB and RB will have undergone a phase shift of 1 times wavelength plus K due to two front surface reflections and one transmission through a glass plate. At detector 2, in the absence of a sample, the sample beam and reference beam will arrive with a phase difference of half a wavelength, yielding complete destructive interference. The RB arriving at detector 2 will have undergone a phase shift of 0.5 times wavelength plus 2K due to one front surface reflection and two transmissions. The SB arriving at detector 2 will have undergone a 1 times wavelength plus 2K phase shift due to two front surface reflections, one rear surface reflection and two transmissions. Therefore, when there is no sample, only detector 1 receives light. If a sample is placed in the path of the sample beam, the intensities of the beams entering the two detectors will change, allowing the calculation of the phase shift caused by the sample. Applications The versatility of the Mach Zender configuration has led to its being used in a wide range of fundamental research topics in quantum mechanics, including studies on counterfactual definiteness, quantum entanglement, quantum computation, quantum cryptography, quantum logic, elitzer vaidman bohm tester, the quantum eraser experiment, the quantum Zeno effect, and neutron diffraction. In optical telecommunications it is used as an electro-optic modulator for phase and amplitude modulation of light. See also Interferometry List of types of interferometers Fizeau interferometer Fabry-Perot interferometer Hameen interferometer Ramsey Bordet interferometer Topic Related forms of interferometer Classical interference microscopy Dual polarization interferometry Topic Other flow visualization techniques Schlieren Schlieren photography Shadowgraph